We had some trouble with our Arcom Pro 20 incubator. We called the customer service. They walked us through some troubleshooting options and in the end they said that it was the membrane switch was faulty. So we ordered a new part for just $25 and we are going to try to install it and see how that goes. First, we got to unscrew the screws. You want to be very careful not to disrupt that humidifier or you could damage it. Okay, we have just removed the four screws out of this black digital incubator box from the inside. We flipped it over, removed that. As you can see with our new display board, we are going to be having to pull out the um, electronic board and set it out of the way. We will then flip this back over, play, stick this has a sticky pad which you'll peel off. We'll stick it on the front and as you can see, this will plug in to that right there. So you have to be aware that when you stick that in, you've got enough of this and make sure this um, electronic piece is out of the way so you can plug it in to the resistor board right here. Okay? Okay, I have unplugged the electrical wire now and uh, there is one screw on the component board right there that needs removed and I'm going to do that at this time. It's a Phillips head screw, small one, not very long. Don't want to lose it. Set it aside and this should come right out. Just like that. That's what it will look like. Now, since we have that removed, we're going to go around this back side and we're going to uh, pull off the uh, the last or the uh, component display piece. What's it called? It's a very good name for it. It's got your control buttons. Stop it. Okay, now what I've done, this is officially called the membrane switch. I took a knife and peeled that off. The elastic on there is very sticky, so you're going to have to just kind of go with that knife very gently around that and as you can see I'm peeling that off just like that okay that's the old one what we're going to do now is we're going to put the new one in and you remove the 3M backing make sure you get it on there very straight and secure because as you push those buttons you want to get a good contact 
with the front of this board so when you push the setup buttons or that or the up and down and all that that it's uh, got a good backing to it and you can get a good contact as you push the button on that original uh, display board we had trouble with it from day one I'm not sure what happened why it malfunctioned something as delicate as this it, it uh, I suppose it would be easy the other thing you want to be very careful with is the humidifier which we have it sitting on but we it's better to not have the weight of the machine sitting on it so put your screwdriver or something to keep it up, kind of up off of there don't put too much weight on it again uh, there was nothing for us to look at on the internet to see how to do this that's why we're doing this today uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out and it's good that 3M backings on there are very good we're gonna make sure we get it all off we're gonna move that out of the way Be being careful not to crimp it or anything, just gently get all of that off of there. Now, being very careful in all you know on the machine where it's already predetermined where it would go, so it should be fairly easy for you to line up. And it's better to stop, start at the top and just kind of work your way down, making sure your 3M backing is getting good connection all the way around. I'm going to just work my finger all the way around the edges and in between the buttons so that adhesive really seals because we don't want to have any more trouble with this particular incubator. And I have it on there good. So now we're going to flip it back over once again being very careful. Uh, with that humidifier. I'm going to spin it around so I can work on it from the front here Again, we don't want to crimp our Whatever that thing is called <laughs> And this will Go right in there, just like that. Modern marvelous world we live in. Uh, make sure it's secure, which I have. I've pushed it all the way as far down as it will go without crimping those uh, electronic wires that are inside of there. And that's how, how it looks, out of your way. Don't forget to put your little screw back in. Sealing your component board down carefully. You don't want it coming loose later or flopping around in there. You want it to be good and secure. But you don't want it, from previous experience in a career, you don't want to tighten that screw too much and crack your component board. So be very careful as you put that screw back in there. Now we're going to place our black box back on. Again, being very careful to keep the wires out of the way. As you'll notice, remember on your black box there is a notch cut in it from the factory for, the, for those wires because you don't want uh, just age and years of uh, rubbing on that wire. So make sure those wires are in your little pre-factory uh, cut notch. And now we're going to put the screws back in it. I'm going to just kind of uh, get them started pretty good and then just like putting a lug nut on a car rim we're going to just uh, gently and evenly uh, do those screws equal equally so the black box will sit down tight there and not get cockeyed or anything.
and those screws do drop right down in there so you won't have any trouble getting them started uh, from the factory they've got that board out pretty good those screws just drop right down in there and again we're just uh, taking our time with it it's better to take your time try and keep from hitting that humidifier if you can we've been told that The screws will, you'll feel them really snug up there, and that's a good place to stop with them. I wouldn't force it. No reason to force it. Okay, so we've replaced our, uh, our switch. We've got it displayed on the front nicely and evenly where it's supposed to be. Uh, also, there is a film that you can peel off, a protective uh, layer. at the end and that way you'll get good contact with your buttons okay hope this helps everyone and um, good luck with your uh, uh, incubator is it, is it going so our new part is looks to be working great we were having problem here with the setup button it had gone out it was not um, functioning so that is the reason we had to replace and seems to be going good now ready to hatch